the planes were so heavy flying over us that it, you couldn't even see this little bit of sun showing there. It was uh, the sky. Longtime Tuscaloosa Mayor Al DuPont landed in the first wave of American soldiers in the D-Day invasion 72 years ago today. WVOA 23's Jack Warrior sat down with Mayor DuPont today and joins us now. Jack, he may be in his 90s, but that memory appears to be fresh. It is indeed. They're fresh on his mind, Lynn. And then private Al DuPont served as a medic during the Allied invasion, but he's reluctant to even talk about it. 72 years later, he doesn't want any special recognition. He told me he's just one of the many who served. I mean, that's, that was, they were planning for that. It was just not if we were going, it was when we'd go in there. 72 years ago today, American soldiers landed on Normandy Beach in France as part of the Allied invasion. Among them, longtime Tuscaloosa Mayor Al Dupont, still with vivid memories of an historic day. At Normandy, you were... I, I landed as a private, okay. uh, I, I, and then uh, uh, after I was wounded, they made private first class PFC. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was public service, unlike anything you ever did here. Oh yeah, the God, everything. I mean, it just. He still talks about injuries sustained while he and others fought for our freedom that began the liberation of Western Europe in World War II. All of them were started going to shore like this. And the Germans started firing, and the heavy guns, the 88, 88 millimeter guns were much better than ours. And they, by some chance, they drop a shell in that boat, and it was 40 people just disappeared. Finally, it blasted a hole, and a, uh, we had a pathway going up there. We had to walk and watch what said because it had all mines, and then we finally walked ourselves up there and went through that gap that, that, like they showed in the movie. And you're under fire the whole time? Under fire the whole time. The, the biggest thing was sniper fires. We, we had uh, snipers all over the place. DuPont was a medic. He can still envision fellow soldiers wearing close to 100 pounds of gear per person, panicking and jumping over the sides of the boat to try to get to shore. He can still remember watching some perish before his eyes. And Those were your friends? Yes, your friends. You don't make friends in army. I learned that the hard way, because you, yeah, I, we're friends, and then you get killed, and it, it affects you. I mean, you, you. If you were telling your story, what would you call it? I'm one, one of those who serve. That's what you've done. It's a common thread among soldiers of his generation. They don't ask for recognition or special treatment. They're just one of those who served as one of the many who laid their lives on the line for freedom. And has he been back to Normandy? You know, Lynn, he hasn't. And he told me he doesn't want to. And the mm -hmm. way he put it, he doesn't want to go take a tour of the museum and have a 15-year-old kid explaining <laughs> how they did things on D-Day. But 72 years later, we were honored to sit down with the former mayor and reflect on a day that changed history. Great story. Thanks, Jack.